Wow, this is one of the best things that we've ever made. Today we're going to be attempting to make a beautiful autumnal keto-friendly ravioli. Ravioli and keto tend to be not compatible, but about a year and a half ago, Sarah and I discovered a hack to make keto-friendly ravioli using provolone cheese. We have used this hack to make a classic meat-filled ravioli with a tomato sauce, which we really liked. That was the first time we ever tried this hack. We also used it to make a beautiful fall-inspired ravioli that had pumpkin and goat cheese and sage and walnuts on it. It was so good in fact that Terry wrote this comment made this amazing dish today what a sensory pleasure mm, thank you Terry thank you Terry we're hoping to achieve that once again with this recipe today we're going to be making a leek and mushroom ravioli that's keto friendly and sounds absolutely delicious although I have never cooked with leeks before so that's gonna be fun so we came across this recipe and thought it was perfect for our fall themed ravioli video and it is by ricardocuisine.com we will link the original recipe in the description below and we love doing this kind of stuff. You know, we call ourselves the Keto Twins Test Kitchen because we don't know what we're doing most of the time. So we love figuring out how to make these hacks work on our keto lifestyle and adapting recipes along the way so that you guys can enjoy them. So what intrigued me about this recipe was the use of leeks. And honestly, I've never cooked with leeks before. So what is a leek? A leek is related to an onion. It adds a sweet oniony flavor to soups, stews, pastas, and more. The thing about leeks though is that they are dirty. <laughs> not dirty keto, but dirty in general, because every layer of this is filled with grit and dirt. So you must be wondering, are leeks keto? And the answer is yes, I guess. One half cup of cooked leeks has about 3.4 net carbs per serving. And you're only gonna be using like a tablespoon of this filling in your ravioli. So yes, in this instance, leeks are keto. However, if you were just to eat a bunch of leeks, then you might get kicked out of ketosis. And a lot of people are gonna tell you, onions are not keto whatever is not keto, but like we're talking about small quantities here and I'm not concerned about it. So neither should you if you follow a technically keto lifestyle. So honestly, since I've never worked with leeks before, I looked up how to cut leeks. And so uh, because there's so much grit inside here, we're going to have to cut these first and then we are going to cut them lengthwise down the middle. And then we are going to chop them into half moons and then we are going to rinse them in a colander to get all of that grit out of there. So now we're gonna work on our filling. For our filling, we're going to melt some butter in a saute pan. And into that melted butter, we're going to add in a clove of minced garlic and our cleaned leeks. We're gonna have to cook these down quite a bit. And while those are sauteing, we're gonna talk about the sponsor of this video, Element. Element is a delicious electrolyte drink mix with everything that you need and nothing that you don't. That means lots of salt with no sugar. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Sarah and I drink Element every single day on our keto weight loss journey. That's because when you go into ketosis for the first time, you shed a lot of water, and inside that water are your electrolytes. Element replenishes your electrolytes so that you feel better, and we absolutely love it. Our favorite flavors are citrus salt, raspberry salt, and orange salt. Right now, Element is offering our community a free sample pack. It looks like this so that you can try all the flavors. That's eight single serving packets free with any order from Element. This way you can try all the flavors or share some with a salty friend. In order to get this deal, you must go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Keto Twins. Thanks so much to Element for sponsoring another video on our channel. Sponsors really do help keep our channel going and thanks to you guys for supporting our sponsors. So now that our leeks are softened, we are going to add in our half cup of heavy cream. And we're gonna cook that down for about five minutes until it thickens. That's thickened. Now we're gonna add in our chopped spinach and we're just gonna cook it down until it's wilted. It looks really good and it's really thickened up quite a bit. We transferred it to this bowl to cool down. We are going to now add in our herbs and fold in some Parmesan cheese. So next up, we're going to make a really exciting sauce for this ravioli. To a pan, we've added a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and to that olive oil, we're going to add in about four ounces of diced pancetta, and we are going to cook that until it's nice and brown. To our pancetta, after it's brown, we're gonna add in our sliced shiitake mushrooms and um, about a tablespoon of garlic powder only because I'm too lazy to cut garlic again. We're gonna cook this down until it's all nice and uh, the mushrooms have shrunk in size. Now that our mushrooms are nice and sauteed, we're gonna go in with some green onions, some more parsley, and a half a cup of chicken broth. So this 
recipe called for spicy pancetta and we could not find that in time for this video. So with a little bit of ingenuity, no I'm kidding. We're just gonna add some crushed red pepper into this to make it a little spicy. So maybe about a teaspoon. That's about enough. Let's let it reduce. Okay, we're gonna let this reduce for a couple of minutes. After this is cooked down for about five minutes, we're going to get started filling our ravioli shells. So we use Sargento provolone to make our ravioli shells. We find that it works the best. Um, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. So this is the one that we always buy. It does say that it has natural smoke flavor. And we have tried other brands of provolone that have smoked flavor in them. But this one, we really can't tell the difference. So if you are looking for it to not have any kind of smoked flavor, then this is the one that we would go with. So we're gonna lay out our provolone slices onto parchment paper. So the trick with our keto ravioli is that you wanna put in your cheese for the right amount of time. If you leave it in too long, it gets brown and way too bubbly and it spreads. You wanna leave it in for like a minute at the most, maybe a minute and a half at the most, but you really need to keep an eye on it depending on how hot your oven is. But be prepared to take these out in an instant because if you walk away, your cheese could spread. You're not gonna be able to make your ravioli or fill them. So we want them to be melted, but not too melted. We will show you what that looks like, hopefully if we don't mess it up. <laughs> okay, so our oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna put in our cheese slices now. All right, so this is what I look for. It's starting to look glossy, it's melting, but it's not like going crazy. I think that we're ready to take these out. All right. We are going to transfer the parchment paper onto this nice cold surface, Sarah's granite countertop. And when this happens, it's gonna start to cool very fast. So we have to be quick. We have our filling to the side and it's completely cooled down now. And we're gonna start filling our keto ravioli. It's been a while since we've made this recipe, so obviously I was too slow. So what happened was the cheese started to contract and it was getting hard again, which we don't want. We want it to be nice and pliable so we can fold it over. So I'm sticking it back into the oven I'm just using the residual heat from the oven and that's going to allow it to heat up again and we're gonna be able to fold our raviolis to complete them. Here we go again. Hot cheese. This is what happens when you wait too long and the cheese starts to cool. So don't do what I did. This one's kind of messed up. It's still going to taste awesome, probably, but it's just not what we're looking for. We're looking for them to look more like this. Enclosed. Yep. So our raviolis are done. They're resting to the side. This is when they're gonna get solidified. We have our sauce. We are going to plate up our raviolis into a nice shallow dish. We're going to dress it with our mushroom pancetta sauce. And then we're going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. And we're gonna go downstairs and try it. So this looks like a very expensive dinner that we would get somewhere. I am excited to try it. I wish we had sourced these mushrooms from the forest, but what are you gonna do? We don't have any forest mushrooms that are edible around here. Yeah, we I do. Think. I wouldn't trust it. Who knows what's going to the bathroom on those things. I think this would be really impressive to serve at like a dinner party or something, or you just even dinner, like romancing the ordinary. It right. did take a while to make these different components, but it was a very simple dish, I think, overall. I'm trying to get a mushroom on there, some pancetta. Ready? Shallot. A shallot. Mmm. 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 Wow. I was kind of surprised that the sauce didn't have any cream in it. Right. Because I imagine like a sauce having some sort of dairy element, but it's really good. The cheese definitely does add that creaminess texture to it. I've never had like pancetta in this way before, which is kind of surprising. I've had pancetta when it's like thin. 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 Like pancetta? Like in what? Oh, that's prosciutto. Never mind. Yeah. I've never eaten pancetta before. Really? Probably. You probably had it in some dishes, um, but you just didn't know it was there. Honestly, the leek is very surprising. Like, I can definitely taste it. You know, it's, there's a lot of different onion components in this mm -hmm. recipe. There's, in the onion family at least, there's green onion, chive, leeks, 
garlic. That is all in the allium family of plants. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we have a lot mm -hmm. of that family in here. That sounds weird. Um, yeah, I would say this is probably one of the best things we've ever made. <laughs> it's just really delicious. Our husbands are missing out. So there's a lot of filling and there's a lot of sauce. I would say this easily could feed four. Remember that you're not using regular dough, you're using cheese. And so each of these slices of cheese, I believe is zero carbs, but there's 70 calories in each slice of cheese. Probably as low carb as you can get with having the amount of flavor that you're gonna have. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we will be leaving a link to this on our website. We did make some tweaks to this recipe and just our technique. So if you guys wanna check it out, uh, we'll leave a link below. Yeah, we're gonna definitely have to make this for the husbands. Last year around this time, we started doing some fall recipes and that's when we made the uh, pumpkin goat cheese ravioli with the walnuts mm -hmm. on the top, butter, sage. Mm -hmm. If you had to pick between the two, which one would you pick? That's hard. I think they're both good. The pumpkin, you know, pumpkin is something that I can eat once in a while. It's not something I can eat a lot of. I feel like I could eat this at any time of the year. Whereas pumpkin is something that you want to eat during the fall. So I would say this dish is more versatile. But the other one, you guys should try too if you haven't already because a lot of people said that they really love that dish as well. Mm -hmm. So so this was super delicious. If you guys want to see another application where we took the same hack and used cheese to make another delicious keto ravioli, you can click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are the Keto Twins, signing out. out.